Welcome to Dealer Synergy, award-winning training, consulting, and technology. If I believe if we can reach the individual person to help evolve, enhance, elevate an individual, can you imagine elevating, enhancing, motivating each individual in your organization? Synergistically, you're going to have a very powerful foundation, an unshakable organization. So my strategy is to to build one person at a time. And that's what you should go back to your dealerships is to start to build a powerful team, one team member at a time. Get him, he's the most suave person in the group. So out of 19,600 dealerships in the United States that are franchise dealerships, as per NADA, these stores, you know, and this is pretty much a single point store that does more, way more, out of her internet department than the average dealership does out of their entire store. That, to me, is powerful. One of the exercises that we recommend, and I suggest you guys do this when you go back to your dealerships, is create a SWOT analysis. Identify what your strengths are, what you're good for, what your weaknesses are, what opportunities you have based on your situation, your career, your position, etc., and what are your threats. Threats meaning challenges. You want to identify your weaknesses so you can enhance them and make them stronger. You want to maximize opportunities and you want to stay away from the threats meaning challenges that could be your pitfalls. into the internet department here, which they've already outgrown, uh, and they're going to probably transition into the BDC room downstairs. Even though it's a 45 to 55 day window period, you have about a 47% you know, selling ratio in the first 30 days. So the numbers are a little bit misleading if you don't know all the data. So what I'm saying is that even though you would say the average buying cycle is 45 to 55 days, that just means 50% or more. Um, still 47% of people are going to buy within the first 30 days. So what we're trying to do is get team A to maximize on those 30 day opportunities by hammering it home. And again, there's a point of diminishing return. If we had, honestly, uh, another if half a dozen... More, if I had more coordinators, I would have more deliveries. When people go to workshops, it's pretty much, here's a phone process, here's objections for rebuttals, here's a technology, here's how to set up a website. Uh, it's never been done before in our industry, and absolutely not by an internet training company, to turn around and incorporate the Franklin Covey message of highly effective people. If you want to be a good dealer, a great dealer, if you want to be a good manager, a great manager, if you want to be a good internet department, a great internet department, You've got to be able to qualify, to listen. You must seek first to understand and then to be understood. If not, you are failing your prospects. I mean, right now the automotive industry is suffering horribly with the economy. Uh, there's dealerships that are being consolidated and there's dealerships that are being you know, closed. I mean, family businesses that have been in business for years and years and years are going out of business. And you know, part of it is because they don't have the right people, they don't have the right attitudes, they don't have the right paradigms. And I truly believe that if they had the information, the education, they could better themselves, their companies. It's about you know, uh, you know, surviving and thriving in this economic you know, turbulent times. Circle of concern. Things that you have no control over. People want to find themselves in this paradigm. This is where they want to live. And there's, there's, there's like psychic vampires in your dealership, in your lives, that come to you like ghouls. <laughs> and they just want to suck the life out of you. They want to go in and say, look, did you see the news on CNN last night? Did you see what happened? And then you get sucked in and we're talking about stuff that we have no relevant, you know, possibility that affects putting a deal together at your dealership. And then when you're like, oh God, I got to get to work, then I go to you. <laughs> and I stick my little hooks into you and then I just, I, I do the same thing again. I just, I just drip over and over about stuff that is not relevant, that has no bearing on how to sell more cars more profitably and more often. And one of the things I love about Sean is his passion to deliver uh, the message that he has to help. And again, his main key and purpose of this entire thing, when it's all said and done, is he wants to help make us better in whatever we do. You need to accept there's things that you don't have control over. 
And that's okay. Let them go. Let them go. Focus on the things that you can affect. Yourself, your paradigms, your thoughts, your feelings, your attitude, the way that you treat people, the way that you structure yourself. That will liberate you in your day-to-day -day life. When I came into the workshop, I really expected um, a certain amount of, of hands-on teaching, but what I really got from it um, and where my expectations are exceeded is that it's an it's extremely creative and dynamic approach to the way that things happen. And uh, I will absolutely be able to take this information back and implement it into not only my personal life, but my professional life as well. Um, I feel that what I've taken so far from, this, uh, from the sessions is going to really serve my customers very well, my company very well, and my career as well. And I really appreciate the opportunity and thank you. It's been great so far. Any questions of me before we break here today? Does everybody know how to get back to the hotel? I say we give Sean Bradley a big hand. <laughs> <laughs>